It was a cold Wisconsin morning. Even drove through some snow on the way in. Nothing stuck, though. Burned right off. But certainly chilly. Drive it into the parking lot. Well, welcome to the Jefferson Ham Fest here. Got a good crowd today, so thanks for stopping by. So this was a little after 8, probably. They opened at 8, so it was probably around 8.30 or so. And they actually had a really good turnout. If you've never been to a ham fest, it's pretty much like a garage sale, but all electronic stuff. You need a soldering iron, multimeters, everything is pretty much available at these things, including, of course, amateur radio equipment. Just like a garage sale, you have some people who are trying to get rid of stuff and their prices are low or fair. Then you've got people who are trying to make money and their prices are kind of high. So you just uh, look around and make a couple passes through before you decide what you're going to buy so you can compare prices. And a lot of people have the same stuff on their tables so you can get your best price. They had a few empty tables, but actually not very many. I was jonesing for this uh, spectrum analyzer he had here, but I don't have the money for it. I don't really need it. It's right there. I think he was asking $800 for it. That was kind of cool looking. The um, the radio. I guess I didn't stop to look at it more. It was kind of interesting looking. A lot of knobs, like knobs taken off of of old radio equipment and stuff. Um, so if you were looking to maybe refurb something, this is certainly the place to stop by. <laughs> You can find a little bit of everything here. That guy, table back, had some old Pink Panther comics. Can you do that? 
I actually like the sound of that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now we know what to buy. Yeah. Expensive here, Actually, it's more. Property taxes yeah, are about... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Property taxes are more. Yeah. This guy had some night vision goggles. Certainly not military grade. They looked plastic. But yeah, I went back and just quickly checked them out. Not something I need, but I thought they were kind of cool. This guy was selling coax cable. He had a lot of different types available. Oh, I suppose all the vibration. Hey, Paula. These are good deals on the books. They are, I know. I might come back. I didn't buy one. I already have so many ARRL handbooks. But if you don't own one, it's worth getting one. I think he had those for $5. And they are excellent references for electronics and radio and antenna design. You can learn so much from those books. Classic Simpsons, man. I use those in high school electronics, and every time I see one, I get uh, nostalgic. I already own one, so it's not like I need any more, and I don't even use the one I have, but it's just the, the nostalgia. I didn't buy much. I got some paracord for an antenna repair and I picked up an old Sony Watchman TV which was a handheld TV at the time and I thought I might integrate it into another project but I don't know if that'll happen. We'll wait and see.
We've got where we started. Uh, Did you used to have a store? Yeah. Was it? We had, uh, I know there was a spot I remember for people for your house. You can have it. We're heading home from the Jefferson 2024 Ham Fest, and I've got with me my partner in crime who always goes with me is uh, Eldon. Uh, Eldon, what did you get at the Ham Fest? An automatic antenna switch. Ah, cool. Okay. Did you have a good time? I definitely had a good time. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks. Remember, subscribe and uh, click to notify. Bye.